Lose the Loudness War with K-Meter, the meter that helps you make dynamic, open, and natural sounding recordings. In this video, we'll have a look at the different K-Meter scales, K12, K14, and K20. Which scale do I use? Your choice of scale depends on the genre you're working with and the delivery format. K12 has the least dynamic range and is often used for radio and pop recordings. K14 has slightly more dynamic range and is used for rock and country. K20 has the most dynamic range and is used for classical and high fidelity recordings. What is an average meter? K meter shows you two meters per channel, an average meter and a peak meter. The average meter is meant to indicate the signal's loudness whereas the peak meter is used to detect clipping. Most of the time, we will focus on the average meter. What do the different colors represent? The K-meter scale has four color regions, green, yellow, red, and blue. On the average meter, these correspond to different loudness levels. 0 dB, which borders green and yellow, is considered loud, or forte. Oftentimes, your levels will hover around this point. 4 dB, which borders yellow and red, is considered very loud, or fortissimo. These levels should be reached only during the loudest parts of a recording. In a film, the red zone might be used for a gunshot or an explosion, for example. The blue region represents digital clipping and should be avoided. What is headroom? The K-meter scales differ in the amount of headroom that they provide. In fact, the scales are named after this headroom. For example, K12 offers 12 dB of headroom, whereas K20 offers 20 dB of headroom. Headroom is the space above 0 dB. A scale with more headroom provides more dynamic range above the average level. This is why K12 is used for radio, whereas K20 is used for classical and high fidelity recordings. That should get you started with K-meter. Be sure to check out our other tutorials for more information. Until next time, happy recording.